What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Got some really cool stuff to share with you guys. Some meteors with a message. Are you serious? A gentleman by the name of Stu shared three photos with me of three rocks, either from space or a lost civilization here on Earth from long, long ago that carved messages into stones. And we're just now trying to interpret what these messages are saying. And these aren't just any ordinary stones. They look like meteors. This is a meteor I have sitting on my desk, and they look very similar to the stones with a message carved in them sent in by Stu. We're going to come back and take a look at those incredible what look like meteors to me here in just a moment. You're also going to see a very bizarre anomaly that showed up on the, the Soho Lasco C3 spacecraft that monitors the sun. We're going to come back and take a look at that here in just a moment. But first over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by, by Joy. Not sure of the location, but that is one very impressive sun halo. I saw one one today myself a double halo in the sky out here above Arizona looking at the power outage situation over here at poweroutage.us still over a hundred thousand customers without electricity in Oregon due to inclement weather a couple of thousand in the state of Washington here's the the most recent map primarily up in the Pacific Northwest and also up in British Columbia they're looking at just over 18 almost 19,000 customers in British Columbia currently without electricity and looking at the power outage situation over in the United Kingdom, 4,700 without electricity right now in England. Quick update on the upcoming solar eclipse, 79 days, 18 hours, and counting until April 8th of 2024. Quite possibly the solar eclipse of a generation. The eclipse is going to be joined by this comet right here. 12P Ponds Brooks that according to spaceweather.com just recently within the last 36 hours threw yet another fit. This is a icy volcanic comet that is headed towards the sun right now as I do this video. It is 79 days away from perihelion, its close approach to the sun during the solar eclipse. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Should be an incredible event. We're going to a location in the path of 100% totality, so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're a current subscriber. Just double check, make sure you're still subscribed. If you're a new viewer, by all means, subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate that bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And of course, the, the upcoming live stream on April 8th of 2024 during the total eclipse of a generation could be one of the best ever. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. All quiet the last 72 hours. Not too much going on. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, courtesy of Carlos Skywatcher from earlier today out of Portugal. And you can see all of the, the sunspots and active regions on the Earth-facing side of the sun. And there's no shortage of either both active regions and sunspots, but they're just not very active right now. But that could all change in a moment's notice as the Earth-facing side of the sun, and we've got some new ones up here coming around the northeastern limb of the sun. So look for an increase any day in solar activity as the Earth-facing side of the sun is definitely primed and ready for action. I'd like to give a big shout out to Michael Kelly, who's now a Green Star family member. Also, Kalea J. Williams from yesterday, E. Lund and Charlie Wilson. Thank you guys. Really appreciate that. Here's a video I took today from right out here in Arizona. You don't normally see this out in Arizona. You see the vertical halo around the sun, and then I noticed the white ring going horizontally in the sky, originating from the sun. Check that out. You don't normally see that unless you're up in Denmark or Sweden or someplace extremely cold. I can't say that I've ever seen this out here in Arizona with the exception of today at around 11 o'clock when I took that video from right out here in Arizona. Okay, check this out. I want to take you guys now up to the Soho Lasco C3 instrument that monitors the sun 24-7. This was sent in by our friend Nelson Jinks who noticed this anomaly show up just kind of out of nowhere. A bright light appeared between this spacecraft, the Earth, and the sun. Check this out. You're going to see it right here. This is something that's not necessarily too uncommon. That shows up every once in a while. But that, however, is on a different level. I don't know what we've got going on there. This is where I paused it and I zoomed in. This occurred on the 18th at 1442 Universal Time 
almost temporarily looked like some sort of a planet showed up and then very quickly disappeared. Obviously, it's probably not a planet. Either way, that was some sort of a very bright, temporarily very bright object that appeared between this spacecraft and the sun, and this spacecraft orbits the sun with the Earth. So whatever this was, it appeared between the Earth and the sun just a few hours ago, and it showed up on this instrument, some sort of a bright, mysterious object that showed up on the, the SOHO Lasco C3. And speaking of mysterious objects, these photos were sent in by Stu. I believe Stu is in Australia. These stones have a message on them. They have a story to tell. I don't know if these are from space. The reason I say they could have been meteors with a message is because their stunning similarity to this meteor that once again sits on my desk. They look almost identical. I don't know if the ones that Stu are holding are magnetic, but I I can say this, they definitely have a message on them. So here's what I did with the three photos that Stu shared with me. I just simply put them in the movie maker. I ran them through a few different filters, nothing super intense, just trying to pull forward these markings, these very mysterious markings on these stones. There's some sort of message on these stones. I don't know if they're from a lost civilization in space. If these were meteors that entered the atmosphere with these carvings on them, this almost looks like it could be some sort sort of a sky map. This looks like a, a sun right here. You can see what look like stars off to the, the side of it. Down here is a perfect circle. And you can tell that these markings on these stones are not by accident. These were carved into these stones by who, when, and where. That's the mystery. They look like meteors. Could these things have came from space? I don't know, but they look just like, once again, here's another example. This meteor is sitting on my desk right next to me. It's less than two feet away from me, and it is highly magnetic. It looks very similar, at least in size. Obviously, mine doesn't have carvings all over it, like this one here. And again, you can tell that these were not by accident. These are not random. These are some sort of carvings, some sort of a message from a lost civilization long, long ago, whether it be a civilization on Earth. This almost looks like some sort of a star map. Looks like a sun and stars up in the sky. Not quite sure what to make of that. It is highly interesting, highly mysterious stones with messages. There's three of these that have these very unique writings on them that, again, this one here reminds me of some sort of a possible star map. Super cool stones with messages sent in by students. Thank you, Stu. Really appreciate that. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box. Look for this red banner that says, Have a Large Video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.